you lost to the Giants twice as a rookie, and you haven't all. lost to them since. Is that something that's really kind of driven you? Uh, yeah, losing in general does. Um, yeah, I mean, that was, what, the first game of my career. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, where I'm at, that's, I just want to keep on the streak, you know what I mean? I understand this is a good team. It's a different team. Almost every other couple of years that we play them with the coaching changes they've had, but um, understanding what they did last year uh, under day ball uh, with their offense, the, the progression, the defense, um, the players that they've added, um, that's a good team. Get, going to give them respect uh, and just do what I've done every every. Tom playing these guys, prepare my ass off going into this game uh, and just be ready for whatever they have. But uh, they do have my respect, and um, it's, it's always fun playing New York and definitely playing them up at their place. Uh, probably the first time I've played them this early at their place, so excited for that, excited for the crowd. I'm just excited to be back in the game. It seems obvious that going against this defense in practice every day will make you better, make this whole offense better. Can you elaborate on exactly how it does so? Yeah, I mean, we, we've talked about it all. Training camp long, um, all off season long, it's an iron sharpens iron. I mean, you look at the guys that we have on the other side of the ball and the way that they attack, the way that they rush, the way that the back end guys play the ball, the linebackers flying sideline to sideline. It's been tough. It hasn't been easy at all. Um, we, go, we go back and forth, um, and it's exciting. That, that, that's what it's about. The competition um, is at its all-time highest as I've ever been here just at practice alone. So, um, and, and that doesn't go just for the starters. It goes for the guys on the show team. It goes for the backups. Anybody that gets a rep on this team um, is ready and prime and practicing to a standard to uh, make the other guy better. And so, obviously, it's making us better. And I'm uh, excited just to really go against somebody else now. Is there a confidence that comes going into a game knowing that you've kind of already seen maybe the best? Yeah, I mean, there's confidence for what we've put in, the work that we've put in as an offense, the work that we've put in um, as a team, just, just all together, um, going back to the spring. So, uh, as I said, it's just exciting now to get to get to go, uh, do it against somebody else on Sunday Night Football. Since the end of last season, you've been scrutinized on every outlet to for LeBron real? like, yeah, yeah, I don't know if you know, Dang, to LeBron not. like levels, at least from, from out here, uh, uh, based on last year. And, and how much have you, how have you handled that, and, and how much are you ready to put all that behind you and get ready for the new season? Yeah, um, what I do here at times, um, it's behind me. If I've ever given credit to people's opinion, I wouldn't be this far, wouldn't have made it this far um, in, in my life in this league. Um, everybody has an opinion. Uh, my former teammate Chris Jones just said that. Uh, I read what he said about the opinions, and uh, I feel the same. So. Um, for me, it's about focusing on what I can do this team, the guys and the men that we have. And um, I can't control everybody's narrative, what they try to make something out to be. Um, but as I started this off with, um, any loss is motivating, um, especially when you finish. I finished the season as we did last year. Um, yeah, it's about turning the page and um, writing a new sentence. And the pen's in our hands, and we're ready to do that. Would you say that some of the criticism comes from the standard that was set before you in Roger and Troy? That's why you're... Sure. I mean, that's... It's not for me to dissect why I'm being scrutinized or really even give any energy to people's narratives and opinions. Um, that, that's for them, honestly. That, your trip to uh, – your trip to – go ahead, John. Probably something different that gets you excited about the upcoming season. What would you say would be that thing that you're going into this season? Yeah, it's good. Uh, it's a good question. I mean, each team is different. I mean, really, each team is different, and then so – uh, it's something that, that you may feel from each team going in, but the brotherhood that we have, something I always talk about, um, the vets that we've been able to add, Gilly, um, Cooks, uh, even some of the rookies in the way that they've come in and just bought in. Um, this is a close, close team, and I feel like I keep saying that every year, but um, I truly mean that it's getting closer, and we're getting closer, we're getting tighter. And, um, yeah, I mean, just goes into the practice, really. just goes back to the, the training camp, the competition, the trash talk, all of that, the way that we, we practice against each other, um, I'm ready to see that live. I'm ready to watch our defense go hunt, and I'm ready for us uh, to be aggressive and do what we do best, and I'm ready to watch it all come to come yeah, to life. Your, your trip to Georgia, uh, where Georgia did a great job on that. Who, where'd that come from, that idea? Uh, let's have this, let's have an Army Ranger, let's have this guy. Is that is that your brainchild? And also, how does it manifest itself every day on the practice field? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's my idea, I guess. Uh, marketing agent Peter Miller uh, helped me. Um, he had known the O2X guys. Paul and Adam connected connected us uh, and just really brought them in and wanted to give them the time. Um, understanding that they've worked with um, elite groups and, and government uh, agents across, the, uh, across our country and knowing that they've had a lot of success in their industry. So it was about stealing any little notes and 
um, culture, camaraderie, anything that they do. And uh, honestly, it comes to life each and every day from breathing techniques that they teach us, uh, the mental performance, the sleep, the, the study habits and patterns, um, the clear mind. Guys talk about it. That's a part of me and CD's handshake with the breath. Um, yeah, it's something that, that all the guys that were there have really taken it and uh, incorporated and each and every day that they come to work and anytime we're in group sec uh, sessions or anything, we're, we're reminding each other of little tad bit notes. So some very successful and uh, some we've got to build on. Jack, we've talked about the addition of Cooks, the growth of Tolbert, Gallup's got more time post-injury, McCarthy being the play caller now. How much different does this attack around you feel compared to this time last year and are you more comfortable? I mean, last year is last year, honestly. Uh, yeah, I'm way more comfortable. Um, and I think it goes back into the spring and then the way that um, Mike installed plays, something I feel like I've continued to harp on, and just his detail in installing plays, his purpose of calling a play, that um, our plan's in. Our plan's in right now. Just went out there and practiced it. Obviously, we'll cross our T's and dot our I's and iron out the rest of it over these next couple of days. But um, my comfort level is at an all-time high, and I think that comes with what I said about Mike, what you just said about all the receivers, having the weapons that I do, even the young guys. Um, and then obviously just the experience that I've had in this league, just all playing a part in it. Mike, Mike, Mike talked to earlier this week, and it was about the challenge of the season opener and like 35% unscouted, for sure. that kind of thing. And but so, But from a quarterback's perspective, are there even more adjustments? You have adjustments every game, but just the challenges of this opener, even though it's a familiar opponent. Yeah, I mean, I think Mike was speaking for – uh, speaking for me as well on that um, and just the offense in general, uh, for me it's just about what they may do that's unexpected. I'm understanding just as much as we've had a whole off season to put in new plays, iron out things, create strengths, they've had the same. They've had a uh, chance to go back and look at what they did best last year and build off of that. Understanding who Wink Martindale is, uh, wanting to get into multiple, multiple personnel, um, exotic blitz at times. He's had a lot of time on his hands, so it's about going back for us and studying what they've done against us. and. Um, but being prepared, and that's what training camp, that's what you create rules for, and um, just being comfortable within our system that when an unscouted look uh, comes, that, that we have a plan just based off of the way we, we've practiced. And I think our defense presented us great opportunities all spring that no matter what's thrown at us, uh, we'll be ready. And that's, that's the beauty of the game is you can say that and then you get in the game and it is something you haven't seen, and that's where we're all challenged is we got to communicate on the sideline and create a plan or, or, or they're going to they're gonna feast off of it. Some quarterbacks do visualization or meditation is there anything that you do to kind of center your mentals or your emotions off the field? Yeah, I'm thankful. Uh, and every day I remind myself that uh, no matter what I'm doing, I don't take anything for granted. Um, whether it's my drive home, um, studying the game, uh, I'm just a very grateful person. And so I think that's where my balance comes from is giving thanks and, uh, yeah, and just um, not getting ahead of myself and staying within the moment. Is there anything you physically do? All of it. I mean, that's where I, th I think when you're thankful that that's your visual visualization, you're able to reflect on where you've been, how far you are now. Um, I don't know if I necessarily meditate, you know, in the yoga style with my, with my uh, hands up type deal, but I'm a big spa person. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to find my me time. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, pretty much all that. No darkness retreats yet, though. Yeah, you're starting to go in the dungeon like Aaron Rodgers. I'm young. I don't know. <laughs> I'm never going to say it. I'm not going to you try. <laughs> Week one being here, do you allow yourself to think about February, Las Vegas, Super Bowl, uh, right now, uh, and where you possibly want to go? Yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of um, – yeah, I mean, I know where we want to go. Uh, I keep that in the forefront of my mind, whether it's the, the, the playlist that I play on my phone to name something – um, to remind me, um, I've got a, a lot of uh, just little different reminders that reminds me of Vegas, reminds me of where I want to be at the end of this year. And, um, yeah, but in the same sense, it's about, as I said, being present and capturing each day. I know that there's no way I can get there unless I give each day my all, and uh, that's more of the focus than it is. But at times when it is tough, when you are sacrificing, when the days are long, uh, you want that reminder. And so I'm going to have those things placed here and there. You talk a lot about speed on this team. Yeah, I mean that's that, that's where I feel like you look at you just look over my history. Um, you look at the last couple of years. That's when we've been our best. Is uh, when we're tempoed, um, or we're really pressing the defense. We're being aggressive. We're putting them on their heels, changing up personnel, in and out of the huddle, no huddle, um, turbo plays, whatever it may be. I feel like that's where we had a lot of success, and I think that just goes right in hand with the way that Mike calls plays, and so. 
um, yeah, there'll be a time of that, but then there'll be a time of slowing it down, and that's just the name of the game of really trying to change it up and be the aggressors, and uh, it starts with us. What is your confidence level in some of these first, second-year guys on offense and picking up those new schemes and those new looks? Yeah, very high. Um, this was by far, I would say, the best rookie class that we've had when it comes to picking things up, being in their books. Um, from from the formation to the details and plays, these guys have been on it. Um, you talk about a guy like Jalen Tober, who we've harped on, you know what I'm saying, all off season because he's made such an incredible jump of um, learning every position, doing everything that's asked for him, really stepping up. And, uh, yeah, my confidence is, is at an all-time high, and I think it's credit, as I said, to Mike and – to the veteran guys of uh, just setting a standard, detailing things out, and um, making it a kind of a, 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 a sink or swim type environment where, where guys just had to swim, and they've done a hell of a job at it. You got the Sunday night football hat on. What does it mean for you to start the season on prime time and, and be kind of the showcase? Dallas Cowboy football. Since I've been here, it's been a uh, part of it. Um, getting used to playing on prime time, uh, knowing you're the only game on is something I've always Enjoyed, uh, so uh, nothing new. It was a black hat it matched and felt like it was appropriate. He, he works for NBC. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.